Oi friends, Rin here. So today we're going to talk about dungeon location. I'll be showing you where every spot of dungeon is in every single map that is in rank. Now before we get started on that, I want to talk about the fundamentals of dungeon. So the basics of dungeon is that it will only be revealed after two ciphers are completed, which would take about 60 seconds or so. Now dungeon will only be open after all survivors have escaped the match or they all have died out and there's one survivor remaining on that map. So it doesn't matter if they all died out or they all escaped through gate, only one survivor can be on that map left when dungeon is open. Now the other thing is that dungeon spawns randomly, okay? In every single match, there is three or five dungeon location, okay? Depending on the map, of course. Um, but So it's important that you are aware and you know where dungeon is when it is revealed, okay? So definitely do communicate with your team the moment that dungeon is revealed because it's important for end game for the person that is kiting at end game if they know where dungeon is they can make a game changing move from a lose to a draw or a draw to a win as long as they know where dungeon is so the question comes down to how do i get dungeon okay this is what i don't recommend you should not camp the dungeon location while kiting the hunter and then the hunter will camp this camp the dungeon also so what you guys should do instead is, you know, you should kite from one location to dungeon, okay? This gives your teammate time to open the gate and leave. And by the time they open the gate and leave, you made it to dungeon. But of course, you got to know where dungeon is. Why is this an effective strategy? I do this on my stream a lot, quite a bit actually, to get dungeon and it works quite well. This method works is because the hunter will always be locked on you, okay? The moment they lose you, they don't know where you went. Will you go to gate or will you go to dungeon? Of course, they don't want to lose you, so you have the upper hand that they will continue to chase you until you get destroyed. So they won't lose you, so that means that they will chase you all the way to dungeon, guaranteeing you that they won't camp that dungeon location. So this gives you an opportunity and more likely chance to get dungeon over camping that dungeon location. When the hunters start camping that dungeon location, you have a less likely chance to escape because many hunters nowadays have many great abilities that can help them camp that dungeon spot and you will most likely not get that dungeon unless you do something amazing of course but why make it harder for yourself i i failed english right there anyways i hope you guys do enjoy the video okay so the very first map that we are going to visit is at red church now red church has three dungeon location We'll be hitting every single one of them starting from front gate ceremony from ceremony you want to take a left okay so the very first dungeon location is at a very corner and yes i do have crows guys now if you guys are having trouble i will be leaving an image to the top left to help you guys out to show you guys the dungeon is there now Dungeon should be right here. This will be our very first dungeon location. I'll be circling it for you guys to see. It should be right here. Now this will be our very first dungeon location. Now the second dungeon location is at Graveyard. It will be in front of Graveyard in an open area. It's actually really hard to miss. Like there is no way you guys will miss this dungeon location. It will be next to a very skinny tree. Um, we're almost there. I'll show you guys the... Uh, I can't English. I'll show you guys what I mean. So the second dungeon location is right here. You guys see this skinny tree? It should be right here. And this will be our second dungeon location. Now our third and last dungeon location. Jesus Christ, stop breathing so hard, Acro. Our third and final dungeon location is at back gate. It will be near back gate, okay? After you pass Graveyard, the third and final dungeon location should be right here. It will be next to these two vase or pot or whatever you guys want to call them. It will be right here. I'll be circling once again for you guys. The third and final dungeon location should be right here. And that marks our three dungeon location at Red Church. On to the next map, guys. Okay, so the next map that we are going to visit is Arms Factory. So Arms Factory has three dungeon location just like Red Church. Now we'll be hitting every single dungeon location starting from back gate. So from back gate, you want to make your way to Shack. This will be our very first dungeon location. So as you guys can see, you guys take to your left. There is Shack right there. We are going to this patch of grass right here next to these boxes, okay? 
This will be our very first dungeon location. It will be a next. It will be next to a bunch of boxes, as you guys can see, and behind shaft. So this will be our very first dungeon location. So our next dungeon location is at the middle of the map. Now there is no way to miss this dungeon location. It's in the middle of the map. So if you vault this window, you go all the way to the middle of the map right here. Now the second dungeon location should be right here guys. It's in the middle of the map. There is no way to miss it. Now our third and final dungeon location is near Arms Factory, which is right over there. Now if you go all the way to the wall area, right over here, it's next to it, not inside it or anything like that, okay? You guys go over here through this area, it will be a next to a locker as you guys can see, it will be right here. Our third and final dungeon location at Arms Factory is right here. I'll be circling it for you guys once again. Now on to the next map. Okay, so the next map that we are going to visit is Ever Sleeping Town. Now Ever Sleeping Town has three dungeon locations. We'll be hitting every single one of them starting from front gate. So from front gate, if you make your way all the way to the side of the map, your first dungeon location will be slightly in the open. So it'll be all the way over here. This will be considered our first dungeon location. I'll be once again circling it for you guys to see. This right here will be our first dungeon location. Now our second dungeon location is at the middle of the map. So if you make your way all the way to the middle of the map, there will be your second dungeon location. So it will be right over here. This will be marked as our second dungeon location, okay? Right here, guys. Right here. Now, our third and final dungeon location is all the way to the side of the map. If you make your way all the way to the side of the map in the open, this will be marked as a third and final dungeon location. It will be right in the open right here. Right over here. I'll be circling it once again for you guys. It will be right here. Now that is the three dungeon location for Ever Sleeping Town. On to the next map. Okay, so the next map that we are going to visit is Sacred Heart Hospital. Now Sacred Heart Hospital has three dungeon location and we'll be hitting every single one of them starting from the back gate. Now from the back gate, you are gonna make your way past the shack area, which is right here as you guys can see. This will be marked as your first dungeon location. So you're gonna go to this mini corner area, I mean this mini area. This will be marked as your first dungeon location right here. Now your second dungeon location is actually really close by to the first. For some reason in Sacred Heart Hospital, the first two dungeon locations are really close by. Now this right here over here is marked as your second dungeon location. It will be right here. One of the worst places to kite guys. Do not kite right here. Now, your third and final dungeon location is across the map. This one is the odd one out of the three. The other two are really close by, but this one is super far away. It's all the way near the wall area, wall, wall area near statue. So it will be all the way over here guys. It will be next to a locker. I'll show you guys. So you guys see statue over there? Now it will be right here. You see this locker? Your third and final dungeon location is right here. It will be next to this locker. As you guys can see, I am circling it for you guys. And that is our third and final dungeon location at Sacred Heart Hospital. On to the next map. Okay, so the next map that we are going to visit is Lakeside. Now Lakeside has five dungeon location. We'll be hitting every single dungeon location starting from the back gate. Now starting from the back gate, you want to take a left. You're going to all the way to the left side of the shore. Now to help you guys visualize this, it's actually also the left side of the big boat. Now this will be marked as our first dungeon location. You'll be passing through this windmill, passing through this cabin, all the way to the shore. Now you guys got to remember, this is at a very corner of a map. So as you guys can see, there's the big boat right there, right? And this is the shore. This will be right here, marked as our first dungeon location right here. 
Now our second dungeon location is actually close by. It's actually close to the first dungeon location. It will be right behind the planks that are leading up to the big boat. This right here will be marked as our second dungeon location. Now our third dungeon location is actually pretty funny too because it's actually close by to the first two dungeon location. It's actually at the center of the map close to the front gate. As you guys can see the front gate is right there and this is the center of the map basically. This right here will be marked as our third dungeon location right here. Now the fourth and fifth dungeon location is actually further out. But have you guys noticed that lakeside dungeon location are actually in a form of a circle? You will be circling throughout the whole entire map when you are finding all five dungeon location. So right over here is actually marked our fourth dungeon location right here. If you guys are making your way to be a small boat, this will be your fourth dungeon location. Now your fifth and final dungeon location is actually behind the small boat. This is the small boat right here guys. Now you guys make your way to the back right over here. This right here will be marked as your fifth and final dungeon location. Now this is all five dungeon location at Lakeside. Now on to the next map. Okay so the next map that we are going to visit is Leo's Memory. Now Leo's Memory has five dungeon location. We'll be hitting every single one of them starting from the back gate. Now, starting from the back gate, you guys take a left all the way to an isolated area where there are a bunch of boxes as you guys can see. Your first dungeon location will be between this box and this box right here. This will be marked as your first dungeon location. Now your second dungeon location is actually at Shack, the side of Shack. As you guys can see, Shack is right there. If you guys make your way to Shack, to the left side of Shack, this will be marked as your second dungeon location right here. Right here is marked as your second dungeon location. Now your third dungeon location is actually next to a Christmas tree and a skinny tree. I'm trying to help you guys visualize this and remember it in the long term. As you guys can see the Christmas tree is right here. Now to the right of it there's the skinny tree, the skinny tree right here. Now this is marked as your third dungeon location right here. Now your fourth dungeon location is actually next to a mini barrel and a dumpster at a very corner of the map. If you guys make your way to this corner of the map, there will be a dumpster and a mini barrel where the fourth dungeon location will be at. So right over here is going to be your fourth dungeon location. This will be marked as your fourth dungeon location right here. Now your fifth and final dungeon location is actually really far away. Now this is the farthest dungeon location in the map to the others. The other four dungeon location is actually pretty close by to each other. But for some reason this dungeon location is actually really far out. If you guys make your way to the other side of the map next to this car. I'll show you guys. Hold up. So you guys make your way all the way to this car right here this car looking thing and next to this tree this will be your fifth and final dungeon location right here now on to the next map okay the next map and final map that we are going to visit is moonlit river park now moonlit has five dungeon location now starting from the front gate we'll be hitting every single dungeon location now from the front gate you want to make your way to the middle of the map near the bridge. Now your first dungeon location is actually next to a slide. Now if you guys make your way all the way to the middle of the bridge finding this slide right here you will find your first dungeon location. So to the right side of the slide this will be your first dungeon location right here. Now your second dungeon location is actually behind the building okay. This giant building there is no way you guys can miss this building. If you guys make your way to the back of this building you will find your second dungeon location. So the back of the building right here. Now right over here is marked as your second dungeon location right here. Now your third dungeon location is actually on the other side of the map. 
Now, if you guys make your way all the way to the other side of the map, to the side area where there are two benches, that will be marked as your third dungeon location. So we'll make our way all the way to the other side of the map, to the carousel, as you guys can see, the working carousel right there. To the left of it will be marked as your third dungeon location. So if we make our way to the side of it, next to the carousel, and you will find two benches right here. This right here will be marked as your third dungeon location right here. Now your fourth dungeon location will be near tent. If you guys make your way to the tent area, past the working carousel, as you guys can see, you guys can see tent already. This will be the tent. It's called Circus Hababababoo. Anyways, to the left side of it, where you guys can see a cage right there, you want to go right over here. Now right over here is going to be marked as your fourth dungeon location right here. Now, passing the tent, there is one more dungeon location near it. If you guys go to the back of tent, all the way to the other side, the side of tent actually, there will be a mini pathway to the other side of the map. Now this pathway, right over here, will be marked as your fifth and final dungeon location right here. This right here will be marked as your fifth and final dungeon location. And this is all the dungeon location at Moonlit River Park. Hey guys, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I was trying to help you guys visualize these dungeon location by telling you guys where they are near and where they are close to so you guys can remember in the long term like they are near boxes or near dumpsters, stuff like that. Now I also want to give a big shout out to Bia for helping me make this video. She was directing it, you know, like she was actually taking a lot of pictures for me. Now you guys don't understand, when you guys go into custom and getting these dungeon spawns, you guys don't get to pick where they spawn, so you guys gotta keep going in and keep getting those dungeon location spawns. So it took her a very long time to get these pictures for me, and it was trying to help you guys visualize and see what they actually should look like when they do spawn at that place of the map. So it took her like a couple of hours, so you guys should show your appreciation in the comments to be a, you know, she's been a wonderful, helpful assistant to me. Anyways guys, if you guys did enjoy, remember to leave that like, do subscribe, you guys know what to do. Also, you guys should join the Discord, it's in the link in the description below. Also, follow my Instagram, also follow my Twitch, all that kind of stuff, okay? I'll see you guys all next time.